play. Mini War Gaming's Battle Blood Tactics. Mini War Gamer Dave here from MiniWarGaming.com. Welcome War Gamers to Battle Blood Tactics. In this video, we're going to be talking about the shooting phase. Obligatory disclaimer insert right now. This is not a definitive guide to Warhammer 40k Tactics. It is just suggestions compiled by users from the community that I have facilitated and organized. Take away what you will and please enjoy. Also, feel free to leave your own tactics. Click on the link below to post on the Mini War Gaming Warhammer 40k forum. Now, to start off the shoot phase. Ziggy on the forum leaves this comment. As you may have noticed, Ziggy and Ronan, they leave a lot of comments in terms of tactics. That's because of the original tactics thread, I got a lot of these comments because they were just good comments. And in the future, I'm going to be doing specific armies and specific units, and so if you want your comments to be included in a video, please leave your comments in their perspective threads in the Warhammer 40k forum. Alright, now to start off, Ziggy says, The shooting phase is important to all the races in some way, whether that's the phase you want to do most damage, Tau. Tau. Sorry, I just I had to. Or just to soften them up for insult. Orcs. Things you should think of when shooting is one, who can be shot with what? Two, what can I move and or assault? Three, will I outrange them? And four, what order should I shoot it in? You're probably wondering about the last one, but it's easy. Let's say you have five space marines with bolters in front of a truck and a devastator squad in the corner of the map. That's in range. You're gonna wanna shoot the devs first to take out the boys inside, then mow them down with bolter fire. If you did this in reverse, the bolters just might have glanced it, and then the devs would have destroyed it, and you'd wind up with a squad of boys in your face. This might seem like an obvious tactic, but when you shoot, see in what order you can shoot. Like in squad 1, kill squad A. Or should I risk squad 2 shooting on squad A, so that squad 1 can take out squad B? It may now seem like much, but it can mean the difference who lives and dies. If you can shoot them with a range where they can't retaliate, don't move, as they will have to run to get to you. If you can move back and out of their range and shoot them, then do it. Toy with the squad. They'll waste time and troops to get to something they'll never hurt. An example would be Terminators and boys. Shoot the storm bolters at max range and the boys will follow. Move back and repeat. They'll only kill themselves. It's a very funny and efficient tactic. The best way to do it is with fast vehicles. If you're in range to shoot something, but can use your firepower on something better, then move. You'd rather use up a turn to hit something that you'll be good against than something you barely hurt. Let's say you have four space marines and a last cannon. You can fire at a squad of fire warriors, but they have a broadside on the board where if you move, you can fire at it. Some people would just shoot the fire warriors, but you'd rather use up a turn moving to get a shot that they're meant for. To some races, the shooting phase is nothing more than softening the opposition for an assault. Sure, it seems easy. Pick a squad, shoot, take only assault weapons, the usual, but there's more. Ever think about taking a heavy weapon in an assaulting squad? A heavy weapon in an assault squad? What are you, crazy? Nope. Most heavy weapons have great range and damage, and they can actually help what the assault squad wants. Shoot the heavy weapon at a squad you want to assault, but one that can't shoot back. They'll run at you to take you out, or in the least get closer, which is what you'll want for your squad, for them to get closer. If they're still far, shoot again. If not, move closer, but behind cover. They'll move to get in a position to assault, but you'll get it if you get it right especially if you have fleet of foot, firing those assault weapons on the way, and you'll kill whatever's left in close combat. This may not seem like the most viable tactic, but it works. Even better, keep an assault squad near a group of heavies. When they move in to kill the long-ranged heavy weapon squad, get your squad into close combat. This one works better for some. It's really a tactic some people think is stupid, but it works for some. I hope this helps some of the players of Mini Wargame. And as with all of the suggested tactics, for these armies or for whatever in general, they are just suggestions. Take from them what you will, give them a try if they work for you, great, if not, then it wasn't the tactic for you. What I don't want to see is comments like, oh that's a stupid tactic, that will never work. None of that now, none of that now. What I'd rather see is your suggestions on the tactics. And for that, just click on the link below. So I hope some of these shooting tactics have helped some, perhaps those that are new to the game or those who have been playing the game for a while but haven't thought of doing some tactics a certain way. A lot of us are in that boat, and it sails very quickly sometimes. What does that even mean? I hope you've enjoyed the shooting face tactics for this episode of Battle Blood Tactics. Leave your comments, and happy war game. Visit miniwargaming.com to see our videos one month early.